Hi, I'm Pat from youlearnoffice.com with a first example on conditional formatting. So conditional formatting is rules that you can place into cells that warns you when some events happen. And let's look at what we have here. In the first column, I have the name of some products. In column B, I have the minimum value I must have before I order a restock. And in the third column, I have the current quantity of products. So with those, I want to make some conditional formatting to warn me when I'm understock or I'm getting close to being understock. And I'm going to use cell C5 to place those rules and then copy them onto the other cells. So let's start by going onto cell C5. And that's where I'm going to put my rules. So under the Home tab, you have conditional formatting and you have a lot of options. Now, if you were using Excel 2003 or before, the only option you'd actually have are to highlight cells. But since Excel 2007, you have more options for data bars, color scale, and even icons. But we're going to make just the first few rules and we're going to use the highlight option. And what I want to do with the first rule is to know when I'm under stock. So I want to be warned when I have less than the minimum quantity. So I'm going to use conditional formatting, highlighting, and less than rule. And there you go. Now I have to write the column. So instead of writing in a value, I want to compare it to the value in B5. But you have to be very careful here. I know I'm going to copy this value. And I do not want the other rules to always check the content of cell B5, but actually the cell to the left of the conditional formatting. So I do not need the dollar sign. Actually, there would be an entrance. I do not want them. I really want equal to B5. That's, that's a relative term that will say to Excel, look to the value to its left of the conditional formatting. And since I want to know when it's less than, it's probably the best thing that I use a red color to know when I'm under. But I could use some other colors or even make my own format. But red is good in this case. So I'm going to use that and press OK. So I'm not under the minimum quantity. But if I were to change it to say let's 4, there we go. The cell turns out red to tell me that I'm under the value that I wanted. And it's really easy to see in my spreadsheet. It pops out and that's what you want. That's what conditional formatting is for. To make values pop so you can adjust accordingly. So I'll put back the 9. But it's nice to know when I'm under. But actually I would prefer to know ahead of time when I'm going to be under stock. So what I like is for the next rule is to tell me when I'm five or under from the the uh, under the value I need. So I'm going to use conditional formatting again, with, but another rule. Instead of highlighting when it's less than, I want to know when I'm between x and y value. And in this case, I want to know when I'm between five and five more or five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that would be B5 plus four or five in all uh, B plus four. So that would be uh, five in all, but I, I can't use the red. So I wouldn't know the difference. So I'm going to use the yellow color. I could make my own again, but yellow is fine. So I'll know exactly when I'm close to five or less than my minimum value, I'll know and I'll be able to prepare myself for it. So I'll press OK. So with 9, I know that I'm close to it. So if I enter 10, there we go. I still have enough stock to make whatever I want. But as soon as I'm uh, under 9, it's going to turn out yellow. If I'm under 5, it turns out red again. So there are two rules there. One for under 5 and one that's between 5 and 9. If any value above that, there won't be a the conditional formatting that will be applied. It's going to be a standard cell format.
let's go back to conditional formatting and you can make some new rules, clear the rules that are already there or manage the rules that you have done and you'll see that we have a window that appears with the two rules that's between B5 and another value or less than B5 and I could edit the rules or make a new one or delete it for the current selection or for the spreadsheet or the other uh, that I have in my workbook or even change the order in which the rules are applied for now I'm just gonna press OK those are fine what I want to do now is copy those two rules onto the other two cells that are just under it and to do that I'll select the C5 cell and use the format painter select the format painter and then select the two cells just below it C6 and C7 release the mouse button and there you have it. the two rules have been applied to those two cells now 10 is under 15 so it's red and 46 is close to 45 but it's not under so it's yellow and that's how you apply some conditional formatting